This morning, former President Trump facing blowback after questioning Vice President Kamala Harris's race, falsely claiming that Harris didn't always identify with her black heritage. She was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. Harris is the daughter of an Indian mother and a black father from Jamaica. Trump making the allegation at the National Association of Black Journalists Convention in Chicago, where he also doubled down on his pledge to pardon those convicted in the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Oh, absolutely I would. They were convicted by a very, a very tough system. Harris in Houston last night reacting to Trump's comments about her racial identity. It was the same old show. The divisiveness and the disrespect. And let me just say, the American people deserve better. While also reminding the audience about what's at stake in November. In this moment, we face a choice between two very different visions for our nation. One focused on the future, the other focused on the past. Also last night, Trump returned to Pennsylvania for the first time since the assassination attempt in that state, claiming he didn't even know Harris's name until recently. I mean, two weeks ago, I was talking about Biden. I didn't even know her name. Nobody did. Kamala, hello. Beautiful. Even though earlier in the day, he had said this. I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much. Trump was also asked if J.D. Vance as vice president would be ready on day one to take over the presidency. He did not answer the question, only saying he respects Vance and that VP candidates don't usually make a difference in the election. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.